Greetings, my name is Shamayam Shakaro. I'm a fashion photographer based in United States of America, primarily based in New York, Los Angeles, and Miami, um, but I do work internationally. Then this is going on about 18 years as a professional fashion photographer. Um, been to Cairo, Egypt several times, enjoy it, love the Egyptian people, and I'm so happy that Cairo Photo Week invited me to come out and speak. I have a um, a live uh, talk that I'm going to be doing on a bit of business of fashion photography and I'm also going to be doing a live exhibition of how I actually go about doing my studio fashion photography work. What I feel like when it comes to creativity within the span of not just fashion photography which is my personal concentration but as in the creative arts as a whole is about learning how to um, matriculate your eye to see what the next person doesn't see and to actually bring attention to that by your unique way of visualizing it and creating um, an outlet or an avenue using your creative arts in order to manifest that. So whereas in one photographer may see a purple flower straight on and they're like this is going to be a beautiful photograph, another photographer may see that exact same flower, get on the ground, shoot up from it from what, uh, what I call the grounds perspective see it completely differently. It's about training your eye to have a unique vision of something that everyone is already familiar with. That's where the creativity comes. So when it comes to um, matriculating your career in the direction that you would like for it to go, it can seem overwhelming sometimes with just how do I go from an independent photographer who no one knows to that next level where everyone knows my name, everyone respects my work, what I have to say is that you first must prepare for time. It's not gonna happen overnight. What may seem like an overnight success to a lot of people usually took about 10 years of just getting your name out there, building your brand, um, showing the world how you see the world through your images. That takes consistency, hard work, dedication, and a whole lot of patience on your own end to not give up just because things are getting hard or because people are not seeing your value at the moment. If you're consistent, I believe that you'll pr pretty much get through to the right people who are supposed to be supportive of your work. But the main part is everybody's not gonna like your work. You have to understand that at first and concentrate only on those who feel like your work reflects how they see the world. When I think about Cairo, not just Cairo specifically, but Egypt as a country and as a culture and as a people, the first thing that comes to my mind is they are the most loving people I have ever encountered anywhere in the world. And I've been all over this planet. I've met some incredible people. But as a whole, <laughs> people in Egypt are just loving, caring. Everyone wants to make sure that you're okay. They want to be able, as helpful as they can as possible. And that was exemplified through the creative team behind Cairo Photo Week. You guys have been so kind with the patience because we had so many issues just getting over here from the United States, having to get a new passport and all the patience, whereas in most other companies anywhere in the world, they would not have had that patience. So that is a great example of how I view Cairo. Um, as far as the physical city itself outside of the people, it's a place trapped in time that is desperately needed in this modern society that we're living in where everything is looking forward to the future. Every time I go to, come, to come back to Cairo, I feel stable. As chaotic as it is, I love it. I love getting in my car and thinking that 12 cars are about to hit me. It just makes me feel alive. I love the smells, I love the sounds. Um, I call them my Cairo nights. My Cairo nights involve me and my friends just going out, walking the streets, not knowing where we're going, but finding where we're supposed to go. That, to me, is how I experience Cairo. So today I did a live talk about the business of fashion photography, and the information can go for any genre within photography or any creative business in general. Um, what I wanted to do was be of value. I did not want to be just another talking head at Cairo Photo Week. I wanted to be able to bring a unique perspective regarding information that is not readily available to anyone else. I wanted to speak from an honest place of this is my experience, this is how I got to where I'm at, and this is how I'm going to get to where I'm going. So I broke down the logistics of 
who to talk to, how to talk to these people, how to contact these people. I don't want to just tell you, you need to go talk to a director. You need to also know how to get to that director, which steps that you need to take in order to get your work, your work viewed by them in the most respectable and appropriate manner also. Then I wanted to talk about money because a lot of people don't like to talk about money. And to me, that's fine. I want everybody to grow. There are enough jobs out here in the world for everyone. By keeping information away from your fellow photographers or your fellow creatives, you're only doing a disservice to yourself. So any information that I have accumulated, I give away freely and readily because no one did it for me. So I do it for everyone else. <laughs> We're under the misconception within the fashion industry, within the creative industry, that if we're really, really talented, we'll be successful. That could not be further from the truth. Maybe that worked 20, 30 years ago, that talent was king or queen, but now it's about brand. Brand is essential. Your brand is what raises your value in the marketplace. So you could be as talented as anyone else in the world, but if no one knows your work, if no one sees your work, no one cares how talented you are. So it's about creating a platform of expressing your work, like I said, in the best way possible, in its highest, most exalted form, to where you can build your fan base, your loyal fan base, and your clients will follow that. Don't chase the money. Put yourself in a vibration to where the money chases you. We are not just restricted to our regions anymore, our cities, or our countries. You can be right here in Egypt, create beautiful work, and it be seen all over the world through the internet, especially through social media. So I try to tell my student photographers, don't see yourself as a regional or local photographer. Always create your work with the aspect of understanding that everyone in the world is now your audience, not just where you live. So if you're thinking, how do I get my work outside of this limited region where I'm at? Nobody is looking for Egyptian photographers. No, they're not. They're looking for good, quality, talented photographers. They don't care where you are in the world. Matter of fact, where you are is just a part of your story which becomes a part of your brand. We don't have that world-renowned, great fashion photographer from Egypt yet. And I say yet because hopefully the audience that have that are, are, are attending Cairo Photo Week are the future. I hope and I pray that everyone who are coming and seeing all of the talented photographers, creatives, industry vets that have come to Cairo Photo Week will not just inspire, but encourage our next generation to come and put Egypt on the map where it's supposed to be within the creative arts.